hello guys how is everybody doing um it's sunday so i say happy sunday to all the folks who go to church today and worship and for the rest of us just um it's a week you know we just relax anyway folks like i said um you know these days um i just cook what i feel like cooking and folks because you know what you're here today gone tomorrow nobody no, so don't save up that money and, you know, folks, sit down and wait that, you know, enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. So, folks, today, I haven't had this in a long time. And as a matter of fact, I was treated by, I was in the store to go to the grocery store with my friend. And she treated me to a couple of steaks and we're going to rustle them up. And, folks, this steak was on sale because these steaks are pretty expensive this is rib steak um you know and we were able to get two for 26 dollars and folks that is cheap so i like i didn't buy it so you know what i say more power you know because i'm not a really beef eater but once in a while i don't mind having a nice piece of steak and so we got two and they're very thick and nice so what i'm gonna be doing this with um i'm gonna be washing them off properly and season them up and then we're gonna uh, put them in the oven and what we're gonna add to that folks we're gonna add some sweet peppers some onions and some mushroom so it's like steak and onion so we're using two onions we're using red onions and yellow onions and we have parsley and you know on me with all my herbs so we're just gonna rub it up stick it in the oven and mushroom is a must when i'm doing some steak so like i said it's two steak here and you know they shrink anyway folks right yeah so we're gonna i'm gonna get these washed up um season up and um, marinate a bit then stick them in the oven so folks um and we're gonna have that with rice um bas uh, basmati rice okay so we will be right back okay guys we're back and the steak has been marinated and we're gonna put it in the oven i'm i'm, I'm using my cast iron skillet um to do it in the oven so this is it here and we're gonna stick it in there a uh, little bit of butter inside there you know and um, right now when it's almost through for the bay leaf and garlic when it's almost through then I'll add um, the mushrooms and um, onions and all of that we're gonna let it cook um, a bit first you know then we had all of the other stuff because we want everything to be crispy and nice so we're gonna have our mushroom and uh, the all the peppers in a little while and one thing when you do steak folks if you don't want to get it hard don't put a lot of salt in it you know in the, in your, your steak just wash it up with a little bit of vinegar and um, some lime juice and um, season it up but I don't add any salt to it just um you know your basic um, herbs and um, little spices so you know I'm gonna add a little bit of this is just to wash this out um, all that beautiful season so so it's gonna go in the oven I'm not gonna cover the pan or anything um, the skillet or anything gonna go in the oven and uh, because steak you know it's pretty much not that take that long to cook so after that then I'll add down um, the peppers onions and the mushrooms to it okay so I'm gonna it's gonna go in the oven uh, at, at 400 for I put it at 425 and I'm using an electric oven as I said I don't use gas and I so um you know if you're using a gas you can work off you know you put it at, at what um anyway so right now folks I'm gonna stick it in the oven okay oh just get a nice view for that's all my pots and pan over there folks so I had to move it from the oven from before the oven that was sitting the camera was sitting right before the oven so so i had to move it move the other way okay and um so we are um, also just going to steam some vegetable and some broccoli and cauliflower and um carrots and that's just going to be steamed no frying or anything like that so um the cast iron is the best thing to cook on your steak in and our rice, the basmati rice has been cooked already, so let's turn the stove off. 
so folks when we come back on the other hand it will be the steak will be done and you know what we're gonna get the vegetable is pretty pretty easy to cook because we're just gonna um, steam them down and you know what Sunday dinner will be ready okay back shortly so guys I'm back and I'm stir frying well not really stir frying the saute in uh, my vegetable and this is broccoli cauliflower carrots and just some and color bell peppers you know so, beautiful and the rice is in the steak time is almost done with I put in the um the peppers and the mushroom so it's just um almost done it's just coming down in the oven right now so I put some red pepper in this also yeah just uh, we love our vegetable and the vegetable right now um is still good for good prices because um all the farmers stuff is out so things are still good right now for vegetables when it get much colder then you're gonna pay two arms in the you know because at that point um i think um most of our stuff comes from the state um mexico um we get stuff from south africa too um that's a good thing we get stuff from africa so it's very nice i don't want to have too much water to it because i don't want to get it crunchy so i'm just going to put a little herbs on it a little, just a little basil um, give us some flavor no magic here folks no magic here i'm gonna add a little bit of water to it not, not in Maggie, but um, I find that people use too much other stuff and everything. Cooking some cabbage is Maggie down. Ah, take away the flavor from the food. Season up your fish to fry, and um, the fish is doused into Maggie and a lot of seasoning. When that fish is done, you can't, there's no fish you're tasting, all the fish is um, Maggie. Not knocking anybody, folks. Just saying. I put some garlic in there also. I to each his own. I'm gonna drop a vegetable cube. Give it some flavor, and that's it. And these are vegetable cubes. And then I'm just gonna um, see how thick it is. Uh, if not, I just add a little bit of um, fine starch to it. Just thicken it up. I'm just gonna cover it for a few minutes. Not gonna, you know, I don't know how country you want it, but so, just for a few minutes. And I think the steak is done and the rice is done already, so. so I'm pretty much sure that the steak is done. Uh, um, the mushrooms and everything is put in a few minutes ago. About 5-10 minutes ago, so. That should be a lot of flavor there, right? So, Folks, um, I gotta go, go grab my mittens because I'm um, burning up myself too much. I'm um, trying to um, just use a towel, you know, using the shortcut and burning up myself. If you want to get into your vegetable, uh, this is our Chinese vegetable say so we're going to put a little cornstarch in it. Turn off, turn off the stove. Put a little seed, you have some moisture. Mmm, that is good. Let's put a little bit of cornstarch. 
crispy and nice. And that does it. That takes out all the moisture. So what, that's why when you get Chinese vegetable, it's so with it to it together. You put a little bit of cornstarch and a lot of MSG. <laughs> get in. Well, I'm just with you. Oh, that's a little bit of water. Like I want to get that cooked, you know. Guys, these vegetables are so good. If you're a person that doesn't like vegetable, do it like this. And folks, you're gonna love it. A lot of people don't eat vegetable because they think vegetable is so bland, but not really. If you cook it the right way. So I put some parsley and all of that inside here. The carrots are crunchy and nice, I see. Mmm. That's why I like it, folks. That's why we like it. But this one we can cover it. Because they're very crunchy, so they're going to get soft. So right now, folks, I got to move the camera back a bit because it's close to the stove. Okay. check on um, put my mitts on because it's just lazy sometimes I don't want to put the mitts on and burn all my ants up all over so folks always put your mitts on let's see oh my glass is fogging up wow folks look at that let me just turn it up now Okay. Oh. It's just bubbling on top of the ink here, folks. Wow. The uh, mushrooms and all the peppers in it, folks. Um, so nice. Uh, I'm going to bring the camera back on. Okay, it's me. Oh, this is good. Let me just test it and make sure it's cooked, okay? But it doesn't take a long time to cook. Let me just, yeah, this is this is good. This is good. This is good. Let's see, folks. Mm hmm. The mushroom makes all that moisture in it. So I just add a little lamb. Um, Well, folks, the steak is out. It's done. Let me see if we can plate it. See all that goodness on top of it? I'm just going to put the whole thing just because we just played in it. We just played in it for. Mushrooms and all of that on it, Plus, and the onions, folks. I want to see, folks. So I don't want to cover it up. Too much. Well, you know what? Um, Okay. 
I'm gonna get the rice right now. And this is basmati. No, this is jasmine rice. Um, the scented one, and it's so beautiful. You gotta try it, folks. This is jasmine scented rice. It tastes good. Sorry about that, folks. And I have to get um. I'm gonna switch over. So the skillet is such a good thing. Yeah. You um iron skillet to do steaks or stuff like that in very good. So I'm gonna plate all the veggie now. And like I said, um like doing the vegetable and it's done very crispy. And same way we have peppers here also with carrots, you know, rastaman colour. So it's a lot of a lot of vegetable going on here, folks. And you can never have too much vegetable, right? Never. I get more carrots here then. Lots of carrots. And folks, if you go to a store, a restaurant, a steak like this, this dish will cost you roughly about 30, 40 bucks, folks. Yeah. Veggie and all. This would cost you around 40 bucks yeah so my friend i thank you but well, normally i wouldn't be buying because like i said folks, i don't really use a lot of beef and this is once in a while for me so taste a piece of this mm. that veggie has so much flavor folks let's put it off to eat So folks, and I'm there as usual. And then with this folks, you can have, if you like your wine person, you have a glass of wine, red wine with your steak. And as usual, when I plate mine, I'm just gonna have a cup of ginger tea. That's my tea today, I did. And so folks, um, please like, share, and subscribe. Big up yourself, I'm Fire, and I'm um, Solji, and Marie, and Mello. And everybody who support the channel, thanks a lot. Jules, Charles, big up yourself. Um, Evelyn, Evelyn, um, I haven't been cooking much lately. <laughs> it's so busy. So, Evelyn, this is my su uh, Sunday dinner here. Nice steak with some jasmine rice. Lots of veggie, just saute. And lots of vegetable. You can't go wrong. You can never have too much vegetable, folks. Okay, so that with a nice glass of wine or a glass of salad, folks. That's my Sunday dinner. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And thanks a lot for watching. Peace. And for supporting.